Hi, I'm Addie with the Pickaway County Library, bringing you this week's preschool story time. The first thing we're going to do is sing a song together. So you'll need a pair of mittens. If you don't have any mittens, you can just grab some socks. That's what I grabbed. So put your socks on or your mittens on and get ready to sing this song with me. Are you ready? The mittens on my hands keep me warm, keep me warm. Keep me warm, the mittens on my hands keep me warm all winter long. Did you sing it with me? Good job! Our story today is The Missing Mitten Mystery by Stephen Kellogg, and it is published by Penguin Putnam. Oscar, I lost my other mitten. That makes five mittens this winter. I'm in big trouble. Let's search every place we played today. We'll start at the hill where we rode on Ralph's sled. Here's Ralph's boot, but there's no mitten. I'll look around the castles we built with Ralph and Herbie and Ruth. That was fun. Here's Ralph's other boot and Ruth's sock and Herbie's sweater, but no mitten. Oscar, you found it! Wow, a flying mitten! Oh, it's only a little bird. I wonder if he stole my mitten to make a snuggly nest. No, he's too small to carry off a mitten. But an eagle could do it. Maybe an eagle took my mitten to keep his baby's head warm. Do you think my mitten got tired of being a mitten? Maybe it just slipped off my hand and hopped away. There are no mitten tracks, but here are some mouse tracks heading toward the wood pile. Could that mouse be using my mitten for a sleeping bag? Or maybe he'll wear it next Halloween and be a mitten mummy. Let's go see if I dropped my mitten while we were making the snowman to surprise Miss Seltzer. I haven't seen your mitten, Annie, but why don't you look in the garden where you were making snow angels? Finding missing mittens is hard work. It would be easier to grow new ones. Let's try planting the other mitten right here in the garden. Next spring, when the snow melts, a little mitten tree might sprout. Miss Seltzer and I would take good care of it all summer long. In the fall, we'd pick the ripe mittens. Then I'd give mittens on Christmas and mittens on birthdays and mittens on Valentine's Day. Oscar, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain. We'll never find that mitten. Come inside, Annie. I made some hot chocolate for us and I've got a biscuit for Oscar. Look, the rain is melting the snowman. But what's that spot on his chest? Gracious, your snowman has a heart. My mitten is the heart of the snowman. The end. Our activity today is a matching mitten activity. Both of these printables are available on our Facebook page below today's story time video. So go ahead and print those out. You can print them just on regular printer paper, or if you wanna print them on something a little sturdier like cardstock, you could do that too. I just happen to have some green paper, so that's what I printed mine on. So once you have them printed out, you could sort them numbers on one side and the dots on the other, and have your child just match up the number with the correct number of dots. This is a good, um, one-to-one -one correspondence activity, understanding quantity and the matching number. Another way you could do this is to do a capital letter, all the capital letters on one side and the lowercase letters on another. So the blank page is there for you to create your own game, however you wanna do it. So like I said, capital letters with lowercase, you could do color words, you could do just have your child color them and then cut them out and match them up into pairs. However you wanna do it, there's lots of ideas and we would love to see what you come up with. 
but we hope you like this matching activity. Okay, for craft this week, we get to make our very own pair of mittens. Again, you'll find the printable below the video in the comments section on our Facebook page. So you'll just print that out. You can print it on printer paper or cardstock, or you can use it as a template and trace it onto construction paper. Um, whatever you have will be fine. We had cardstock, so that's what we printed ours on. My boys colored them. One of them decided to add some stickers. They colored them and then cut them out. Then we punched a hole in the bottom and added some yarn to connect the two mittens together so that they don't get lost. So have fun with it. We'd love to see what you create. Again, you can use stickers. Uh, we used crayons, but you could use markers or colored pencils. You could paint them. Um, it's really up to you, but we would love to see your creations. So please share those pictures on our Facebook page. Ms. Sharon will be back next week with Preschool Storytime.